Approach three. Number three, number four, sorry. Discounted cash flow. Discounted cash flow method there. Now, under the discounted cash flow approach, we have dividends given to us, and we need to grow the dividends um, per year based on a growth rate given to us. So, I can be able to see there um, that we have the dividend per share in 2014 as five shillings, and there is um, a growth rate that is going to be applied um, over there. So, applying the growth rate, we can see um, that um, we have 20, we are starting with 2014, 2015, 2016. And now we are also on 2017. Exactly. So we have the dividend per share um, for the first year. For here, five. Now we also need now to um, I try identify the dividend um, growth rate there. Now the dividend growth rate, um, um, I can see from 2015 to 20, 2015 and 2016 is two percent. So this from here now um, from here um, we are going to. Um, um, apply 2% from here, 2%, 2% like that. And then from 2017 and um, moving on is going to apply a different growth rate um, which you are saying over here is, is 1%. So 2%. So we can say 1.2, um, 1.02, pardon me, 1.02 multiplied by 5 will provide that growth factor um, over there. So 1.02 is how much? 1.02 uh, 1 times 5. 5.1. So 1.02 times 5.1. 5 5.2. 5.20. 5.20. Now we are being told these two years is going to be 2%. Here from 2017 into perpetuity is going to be 1%. So now 1% is 1.01 .01 multiplied by 5.2. 1.01. .01 multiplied by um, 5.2 we have 5.25 5.25 like that now those that represents the dividends um, in terms of um, how we expect them to grow since we have that now we can be able now to uh, move on and now discount the dividends so that we can be able to see um, whether we will be able to get um, the value um, as expected there so we are seeing that uh, the present value um, of dividends um, will be um, divided the 5.25 we get the present value of future value from here moving on like that so we need to divide um, um, 5.25 divided by r minus g we have the required return given to us so that we can be able to um, have the component of perpetuity let me just try and demonstrate it over here and um, this is 2014 2015 2016 and here is 2017 let me just extend it a bit like that um, to show continuity there so what we're trying to do we are trying to discount from 2017 moving on we don't know how far we are going we're trying to it could be 2020 it could be 2025 now up to some from some point over here we need to discount it back to 2017 so that you can be able to get the present value as of the beginning of 2017. Then again, we discount it back to um, the beginning of 2014. So what we're trying to do, um, by trying to do this, um, um, to discount it here, we're trying to discount it from right here, further, further on, we're trying to discount it back to the beginning of 2017, and then we will now again discount it now back to 2014 to get the value today. That is important that we need to do um, like that. So that's why we are saying that we need to discount the 5.25 and back to the beginning, yeah? Because we're saying that it's going to grow until some period there. So what we're saying is that the value is given as 5.25 discounted against the required return. We have been given a required return there of 9% um, discount rate. And um, so it's 0 0.09 minus um, the growth rate. The growth rate was how much? The growth rate was 1%. Yes, the growth rate was 1% because you're saying from over here. Remember these two years we had a growth rate of 2%. And um, from here now moving on to perpetuity is 1% minus 0 0.01. How much is the value? So we've discounted it from Mukumbele back M2, M2017, M2 2017 right there. So how much do we get now there? From So we have 5.25 divided by, open the brackets, 0 
9 minus 0 0.01. 65.65.0 .65 that. Now once we get that, um, we now need to try and also discount it back. Like I've already explained, if we now discount now this, 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 um, um, like that. Instead of discounting this, we will discount this one based on the applicable um, growth rate right there. And I can see um, with the growth rate over there, the, the present value will be discounted against the the, 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 the required return component, 1 plus R, like that. That's what we're going to um, discount it. So let's do that. So in 2014, it will be 5 discounted against um, 1 plus 0 0.09 power 1 plus 5.1 over 1.09 squared plus 5.2 over 1.09 power 3 plus, not that, but this 65.625 um, over 1.09 power 4, like that. So how much do we get as the value of the rate? So we have 5 divided by um, 1.09. You get that. So it's 4.58. So let me just break it down. So 4.59 uh, plus, so 5 point it's 5 divided by 1.09 it's 5.1 divided by 1.09 now this one is squared 4.29 we have 5.2 divided by 1.09 cubed um, cubed Yes, 1.09 cubed, like that, close the bracket. We have 4.02. Then this one, 65.625 divided by 1.09 power 4. 46, 46.49. Uh, that, now, which gives us how much? So we have 46.49 plus 4.02 plus 4.29 plus 4.59. 59.39. Sorry, just need 39. I just need to just do an arithmetic check. I'm just there. And then... Um, I think there must be something wrong that I might have done. And let me just counter check again. Delivered by 1.09 cubed. Um, I think I can try and identify the, the mistake. Yes, um, what I was trying to explain here, yes. I was trying to explain that once we, we discount it back over here, and we're trying to discount it as of either the beginning of 2017 or as of the end of 2016. So if, it is a, if you look at it as of the end of 2016, and because from we've discounted it from way back, from way in front of here back to the beginning of 2017, um, we now can be able to assume that that is the same as the end of 2016. So this um, should be power 3. Please note that this should be power 3, not power, um, power 4 like that. That's where I think I've identified the mistake. So it should be 65.625 uh, um, divided by 1.09. Um, power 3, we have 50.67. Yeah, this should be 50.67. Pardon me. That. So 50.67, let me just wrap this again, plus 4.02, plus 4.29, plus 4.59. We have 63.57. Let me just double check again. Um, looks like, uh, yeah, yes, it is 63.57. 63.57 um, per share. Like that. This one um, could be slightly off um, as compared to the 70, which we've actually been got in, which we've actually got in the previous cases um, like that. Now, this brings us to the end of this topic. And um, as the way we've also be, always been doing it, we, I will be able to give you some assignment that you can be able to go in and look at uh, during a free time. So I want you to try and look at the following. May 2018, question 4E. 
Then you can also look at um, May 2018, question 2D. You can also look at the following um, questions. You can also try um, November 2016, question 2B and D. Then you can be able to also look at May 2016, question 4A. So as I've said, this brings us to the end of this uh, topic, real assets. I hope you've enjoyed the topic and we also hope that you'll be able to continue uh, um, looking at our videos here at Manifested eLearning Forum. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to get yourself a copy of our professionally prepared study text and revision partners. Visit our shop along Tom Boyer Street, Pioneer House, 3rd floor, opposite fire station.